This is an example of what works. And we have mostly examples of what's not working. So we actually warn our patients, okay? Don't kiss your dog. Most of them have gum disease already, and we don't want it to come back uh, uh, by getting reinfected. And actually, we don't want them giving it to their pet if the pet doesn't have it, but most of their pets will have it. So, okay. this, is, so this is Chloe, and I'm gonna show you guys what we do with her. Now, she likes to sit too, and I wanna show you guys, you can see- Look at those teeth. Her gums are very clean, those teeth are very clean. They look just like this model here. What you don't wanna see is this, and that can mean that they're also in you know pain and discomfort as well. Also, if you see bleeding, Bleeding is always a sign of disease in your mouth and in a dog's mouth. So if you have bleeding gums, it always indicates disease. Even though it's very common, a lot of people think that's normal. It's normal because a lot of people have gum disease and a lot of dogs have gum disease. Right, so if I were to do it, I dip this in a little bit of the peroxide, the diluted peroxide. Right. And I go very easy with her. I just go back here and I get back, and the biggest important part is to get into the back molars. And she'll just lick, and you go, you wanna make sure you get up into the gums. Now be sure you brush along the gum dime. Um, so right where the, the gums meet, and she's really, I mean, I can get her to do it. She's got nothing on it right now, so she's looking at dry brush. But you can see where she even, if I just grab and I go very easy, She's a little fighting me now, but she really gets in. I can really get in there and get her molars, and she's a good sport about it. And I just show her, like I just show her it too, so she knows it's nothing harmful that's going in her mouth. She knows. She's a good girl. And then if you want to get to scrape the tongue too. So for bad breath, in humans and in dogs, it's the tongue that harbors a lot of bacteria. Right, and I'll just scrape the tongue. There you Good go. job. Nice job. And you can see like you'll get a little bit of the stuff that comes off of it. But just like us and humans, if we scrape our tongue, we'll get a lot of bad breath away, right? And that's the main source of bad breath. The other thing is, I don't know, do, do dogs ever get garlic in their foods or onions? I think if they're maybe homemade, but I don't know if yeah. there are some foods on the market that okay. might have So it. you do not want garlic or onions, because that will give humans and dogs bad breath. Right. All right. And let's see, Chloe, you want to show? Show, show those clean teeth. teeth. Look at those teeth. Those are some clean teeth. And that's how the dog's mouth should look. They should look nice pink, white, yeah. and no irritation. If brown on the and gums. bleeding, bad, bad. Get in there and start brushing, and you may have to get them in for, for a cleaning with the hygienist. Yes. The, the unfortunate, dog hygienist. Yeah, the, um, the unfortunate thing is putting the putting the dog down. Yeah. And that's never good. So if you brush her teeth, you won't have to do that hardly ever. Correct.